so here's uh, something that you can do with the cone. Uh, with uh, You could do it with a regular basketball, but I have both of them with using a heavy ball. Uh, my daughter's using uh, a heavy basketball, and Ronnie's kind of using a medicine ball. So we're working on movement with the uh, with some resistance, with the weight. Um, so kind of going from a triple threat position into a jab step back into like a, a shot form. So they're going to do it 10 times and with a jab step. So Mackenzie, scoot over a little bit that way right there because you're going to step towards the opposite side of the cone. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Jab up, jab up, jab up. Ronnie, up more. Good. Up more. Good. Good, Mackenzie. Ronnie's ball is a lot heavier than hers. When you get to 10, stop. Okay, switch balls. Hold on. I still want the same full movement. You're going to be able to move a little faster, but still bring that ball up, okay? Are you ready? Go. Okay, not bad. Okay, now we're going to go from a triple threat from to a step across the body. Like I said, we're using uh, weighted balls for a little bit of resistance for them. That's not necessary, but if you have access to it, uh, it could be great. Um, help with some uh, some core strength movement. All right, guys, get in the triple threat position. Okay. A little bit wider stance, McKenzie. Just a little bit. Okay, good. All right. Now, go with your movement. Good. Quickly. Good. Step across. Move that ball quickly. Good. Good. Keep your head forward. Right? When you get to 10, stop. All right, stop. It's probably been that many. All right, put your ball down. Next, use a little ball or the regular size ball. Watch that ball rolling. Okay. Give you a triple threat. Okay, go. That's right. Quick movement. And back on balance. Back on balance. Good. Okay. Are you counting? Yeah. Okay, good. Get your ball running. All right. You're going to do the same movement, but you're going to go a swing in the triple threat position. And with the same kind of step across with the movement, we're going to go a little bit higher. Instead of going waist high and coming across, we're kind of going over the top and bringing it down. And then coming back. Over the top, bringing it down. Over the top, bringing it down. Over the top, okay? So a little bit of movement. So hands here, maybe for a defender. You want to come over the top of it, right? Explode this way. So just a little bit of more core movement. All right. Go. Bring it up higher, almost chest under your chin, and then drop it down. Bring it up higher, Ronnie. Up higher, then drop it down. Okay, give me five more. Just like five good ones. Ready? Go. Bring it up higher. Bring it up higher, Ronnie. That's better. Okay, stop. Get the regular ball. All right, same movement. You ready? Go. That's right. Whip. Good. Good, Ronnie. Good, McKenzie. Keep the elbows in. All right. Did you count 10? Yes. Oh, come on. I did. Okay. All right. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do a pivot away movement. Ronnie want to demonstrate. Okay, but I want a little bit. I want some arm action and over the top arm action. Yep, exactly. That's what I want. Work that core, okay, with the heavy ball. All right. Mackenzie, you got it? Okay, stop, Ronnie. You got it? So 10 times. Yep, good movement. All right, you ready? 10, go.
Good, Ronnie. Good, McKenzie. Good. Good. Excellent. Okay, good. Just to give you an idea, how heavy is that ball running? 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Okay, good. All right. Now, this one you do as fast as you can. I don't want you going in a synchronized, you know, together. You go as fast as you can, but on balance, right? Okay, so swing that ball over 10 times. Go. Okay, good. Mackenzie, the only thing I want you to do is let that foot turn a little bit. Okay, don't let, don't let that left foot stay stationary. Get on the ball of your foot and pivot. All right, good job.